But it's not about the vaccine. It's not about, and it's not about the COVID. It's about compliance. It's about the ritual. It's about the new world religion, the new world order. And you either are a heretic or you're a follower. And right now you're a heretic, bro. Yo, Elliot. Elliot, I still feel strange shopping without a mask. I thought I would get used to it over time, but maybe I haven't yet because I rarely go out to shop and haven't been exposed to it enough. I think this has to do with the broader topic of facing societal pressures, and that's why it's important. How can I feel more confident and unapologetic? It feels like I'm doing something wrong because others don't like it, but I know I'm right when I stop to think about it. Do you have any tips for me about the mindset I should keep when I'm in the moment? Bro, I'll just give you my mindset as it relates. These people are worshiping a false god, and it is the, it's, it's the New World Order, Church of the New World Order. And what they got to do is create rituals. This is a ritual. This is, this is a religious ritual that they're creating to create compliance. The same thing like with the wash, hand washing and the vaccination. I heard this one guy talk about it on YouTube. He's a Catholic and he's talking about how they, they're removing the use of the, your, your ability to get the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ at church. But they, they're going to have people take the body and blood of dead uh, 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 aborted fetal cells into their body. That this, it's, it's sort of a ritual. It's sort of a religious ritual taking this in. Also, the hand washing. It's a ritual. I used to go to church and what Catholics do is we get baptized in the water and there's a font at the front of the church. So when you walk in through the front door, you dip your fingers in the font and you do the sign of the cross. You dip your fingers in the water to remind you of your baptismal promise, right? The baptismal graces. And now when you walk into, depending on the church you go to, because I, I, I stopped going to the Novo Orders Mass because they're just too... They, they bought into the secular religion of COVID, co the COVID religion. And so uh, now when you walk in, they don't have the font. They have hand washing stuff. It's so crazy. It's so ridiculous. The masks, all these rituals have masks. If you look at, just do some research on satanic rituals. They wear masks. They're, they're, we're being initiated into a new world, new system, great reset. It's a religion. It's a false religion. This is my belief. My belief is that they're getting us all to be sheep for their new order religion. Never ever before has the entire world bowed down to the same rituals. We're bowing down globally to these rituals, even though there's no science behind them. I know a lot of people get mad when I talk about this stuff, but the... And these are the same people that are like, listen to the science. Listen to the science. There's a lot of science coming out right now. The science proves that shutting down these cities don't work. You know how I know? Because I live in Florida. And our governor doesn't shut down. And we have less, we have a greater density of population density in Florida than New York and California. Because Florida is smaller, but we have a high density of population. New York and Florida both shut down. They still freaking shut down and they got more COVID than we have in Florida. Why? Because the science don't pan out because lockdowns don't work. It's not about lockdown. It's not about COVID. This is about compliance. This is about, this is about compliance and it's about destroying the middle class so that they could usher in their new religion, their new world order, their new monetary fiat system, their new digital currency. That's why they're destroying the middle class and they're getting everybody dependent on these handouts. So, Ali, I know you're Muslim. What do you, what do you think as a Muslim about worshiping this fake deity? Right? Think about it that way. Think about it that way. I'm going against my moral obligation and my spiritual, uh, my spiritual commitment to my faith by following the, the, the rules of this fake religion. It is a faith. These people have faith. You know how they have faith? Because they never seen the virus. They don't know much about it. All it is is hearsay, right? Most of it is hearsay because 99.9% .9 of the people survive it. My opinion is that this, that 
this is about this is about manipulating. This is a psyop. Isn't the way they would call it. This is a psyop, a psychological operation, and they're unrolling it on these on people they don't know. And they virtue the greatest the craziest thing about the mask wearers and the people you know the vaccine takers who that's un, that's unscientific too they love science but the science does not support masks the science is not supporting this this vaccine but they virtue signal about it right like the people who on ash wednesday yesterday the catholics that get the ash on their faces and they take selfies they're virtue signaling about their faith look Look at how look at how virtuous I am with my mask on. Look at how virtuous I am getting this this shot in my arm, and people are dying from the shot. Do your own research, you guys. A lot of you guys, you're into you watch mainstream media. Do your own research and see what's going on with the death count on these of these vaccines. People are dropping like flies. I see the stories. I see the reports. Go to naturalnews.com. He has reports on naturalnews.com. And uh, Brighteon, Health Ranger Report, on a daily basis, he's dropping articles and uh, reports on people who are dying from these vaccines. But it's not about the vaccine. It's not about, and it's not about the COVID. It's about compliance. It's about the ritual. It's about the new world religion, the new world order. And you either are a heretic or you're a follower. And right now you're a heretic, bro. And so you're you're not you're not bowing down to their god. You're not following the rituals. And so for me, I'm indignant. I I look at people that follow these things so without question, with scorn. I'm like have you, have you, are you thinking at all? Have you looked? Have you tr But they have too many feelings about it. They're all, they, they got feelings and virtue signaling about it. They're not looking at the science. They're not using their brains. They're not, they're not seeing the big picture of what's happening and this global takedown. So I feel sorry for them. The same way you walk in there and they all have on their masks and they, um, and, and you don't, I imagine... So again, you're Muslim, right? Muslims set themselves apart. I noticed that about you guys, and it's, and there's something that's admirable about Muslims. Think about the girls that wear the burqas or the girls that wear the hijab, hajibs. They, I went to the pool one time with my kids, and my girls are wearing bathing suits. And there was this little Muslim girl. Her head was covered, and then she had a bathing suit out to her arms and her ankles. I've watched videos with, with women who cover their head like that, and they're proud. They're proud to be different. They're proud that they're not, they're not falling for the secular religion of sexual promiscuity and that they are staying true to their, their moral and modest faith. There's a sense of pride when you, when you fly in the face of popular opinion and follow the true faith, right? Right? To you, it's your true faith. You could tell them, I don't, I am not wearing a mask because I'm Muslim. We don't believe in that, right? Who are they to say? That's their religion. They're doing what they want to do. You could bow down to the mask. You could do whatever you want. But my, I don't have that faith. I'm not a part of that religion. I'm not a part of that cult, right? I'm not a part of that cult. Now, I understand where the world is going and you get to a particular point where uh, you're going to make it where you can't get on airplanes. You can't get on airplanes unless you bow down to the cult, unless you get the shot, unless you do everything that they want you to do. And you're just going to suffer. You're going to have to suffer. You're going to sacrifice, right? Just like you don't eat pork, right? You suffer. You don't eat bacon. Bacon's great. Bacon's great, but it's not part of my religion. So you know what? I suffer. Right? You just suffer. Suffer for your faith. And I don't believe in this, I don't believe in this worldly, fake COVID religion. And that's it. That's the way I see it. That's my opinion. So I hope that helps you, dude. Have, a, have some, you know, a sense of dignity about yourself. My wife inspires me. <laughs> my wife inspires me. Because she walks in, she swaggers right into wherever she's going with no mask on. 
because she's the one that's usually doing the shopping. She's the one that's usually out doing stuff. I don't get out very often. And then so I don't, like you, I don't know what's really going on except for what I see on, you know, the screens and stuff or she comes back and reports to me and she just waggers, she just walks right in there. Nobody says nothing to her. I was in a, I was in a supermarket the other day, me and my kids, and we weren't wearing our masks. And this guy and his wife, they were wearing a mask and they were in front of us on the line. We had our, our push cart with the stuff and they were in lying in front of us and we were six feet apart. I was like, no worries. You know, I, I follow the rules. I'll do, I'll follow the six, six foot rule. Cause I just don't want to be near to anybody anyway. It's good for me. Six feet. Two things that came out of COVID that I like is like no more handshakes and, and six feet. <laughs> to me, I'm like, okay, those are a win. I don't want to shake everybody's freaking hand. Everybody I want to touch. And six feet is good. I don't want to be around people that close sometimes. So uh, we were six feet apart. And me and my kids were standing there. We have no mask on. The guy turned around, right? He and his wife got mask on. I don't, know, I don't understand what he was thinking. But he turned around. He took his mask off and looked at me. And he just stared at me. He was just there with his mask off. And when he did that, I went like this to him. I went, because I thought he was like being rebellious. Like, ha, my wife's not looking because his wife was paying and his wife was not looking. He took his mask off. And so I was like, hey, you're a big boy. Good for you. Your wife's not looking. You could take, take your mask off because she will probably slap him. Right. But he looked at me. I gave him the thumbs up and then he put his mask back on and, and turned around. And I was, I'm asking my kids and I'm like confused. I'm like, is this guy, what was he doing? Was he confronting me? Because I had no mask on by taking his mask off? Or was he showing me that he's a tough guy and he don't have to do what his wife wanted him to do when she's not looking? I couldn't figure out what was happening in that moment. It was so weird. <laughs> These people are strange. If you got to wear a mask for your job, I understand. You got to do what you got to do. But sooner or later, you have to draw the line. Sooner or later, you have to draw the line. At some point, you're going to have to say no. Otherwise, look, you're part of the Babylon beast system. And... um. And I'm not down with that. Maybe, you know, some people are. That's fine for them, but I'm not about it. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. And I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.